Hi, my name is Carlos Zakarian with NetFocus Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to capture Wi-Fi packets on Windows 11. To proceed, I'm going to be using an Edimax USB adapter. The model number for this is going to be EW7833UAC. This will allow us to put the adapter into monitor mode. To proceed, we're going to go to AcrylicWiFi.com click on products, click on acrylic Wi-Fi sniffer. This software will allow us to take full advantage of the monitor mode of the adapter. So go ahead and click on download and try. You'll see this come up. Go ahead and click on the installation. Upon launching the acrylic Wi-Fi sniffer software, You'll be presented with this screen. Go ahead and uh, check the I accept the license agreement and click accept. It'll install in the programs file acrylic suite. Click accept. It'll place a desktop icon. Click accept. Once the acrylic suite has been installed, you'll be presented with this page. Go ahead and click on the open button here. And this will launch the acrylic Wi-Fi sniffer. We'll minimize this page here. If you've already purchased the software license, you can enter it here to activate it. For our demonstration, we're going to click on the continue evaluation. On this page, you'll see that the compatible Wi-Fi devices will be listed below. In our case, it's the Edimax AC1750 Wi-Fi USB adapter. All we need to do on this page is click on the install integration button this will allow the car to be put into monitor mode. Once the Wireshark integration has been installed, we can go ahead and close out the acrylic Wi-Fi control panel. Next, we'll go ahead and launch the Wireshark app by right-clicking, select Run as Administrator, once Wireshark opens up, you will see that the acrylic Wi-Fi sniffer adapter is shown here. To the left of it is a gear icon. Go ahead and click on that. Once the acrylic Wireshark interface opens up, you will see that there's two drop-down lists here. One is for the channel, one is for the channel width. You'll notice that you have bands for 2.4 gigahertz all the way through five gigahertz. As for the channel width, you have options for 20, 40, 80, and 160. For our demonstration, we're going to select channel 6, channel width 20 megahertz, and then we're going to click on the start button. Upon hitting the start button, you will see that the acrylic initialization dialog box appeared, letting you know that it's going to take up to one minute for it to begin capturing. Go ahead and click on the OK button. After one minute have passed, you will notice that the Wi-Fi packets have been captured. Below here, you will notice the radio tap header, the radio information, the probe request, and the wireless management frames appear. We also notice that the data rate, the channel, the frequency, as well as the signal strength has been displayed for us. I hope this demonstration helps you to capture Wi-Fi packets. Thanks for viewing.